Well, hello, hello everyone. How are you today? As you can see, I have some electrodes here. I'm going to get down the brightness, but it's very bright. So, I got some here. I also have, have some. I put some um, underneath here. As you can see, a bunch of them. So, <laughs> I'm sure you're wondering, like, what the heck is all that? So, here's my device that I got that's all connected to them, to my electrodes. So, yeah. Not a, not a fan of the, the device. It's very annoying wearing it. I got time remaining, 20 hours and 25 minutes. I have to wear it. So, yeah, this is 24 hour monitoring of my heart activity. So, yeah, I, I mentioned, I haven't been actually having the issues, which, you know, it won't show up now. But, um, yeah, I've been having issues uh, with, my, with my heart rate heart beating and then like when I would stand up just my head would just be, be pounding dum, 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 dum. haven't had those issues recently but basically how it happened well I don't know what caused it I have some speculations I don't know why it's not doing it now but um, I would I would just it would happen after lunch to dinner time probably like a little bit after dinner as well and I would notice when I just, I don't know, my, my, my heart would, would like beat very, very hard. Like, it was like a very strong heartbeat. And I don't think that's necessarily bad, but it felt very overpowering and very uncomfortable. Um, there would be times that I would feel very fatigued. Like, I don't know how many times, just walking up the steps. I'll be at the top, just like... <sighs> Just out of breath, and my heart is like beating so hard, like I just worked out, and I didn't. Um, and I do work out; <laughs> I do that. Um, then, when I would stand up, my heart, my head would be like pounding, like low blood pressure. It would, it would just be, and I have to sit down for a little bit, catch my breath. You know. Um, so, fortunately that hasn't happened, but I don't know how accurate this is going to be, because it's not really happening, it, you know, so, what you going to do about that, but some people mentioned it was related to, like, my diet, being a vegetarian, um, not eating any kind of meat, not really eating any kind of animal products a lot of times, um, I get a lot of protein. I make sure I try to get as much things that I need for my body. I don't know. Um, I mean, every everything is good, so I don't know what would have caused it. But, you know, being on the medication that I'm on, hormone replacement therapy, estrogens, testosterone, those come with blood pressure problems, heart problems, blood clots, and while I am very active, I mean, I'm taking both. So to me, it's like, okay, that's like double the impact here. But everything that I'm doing to, to stay healthy should overpower this. So I, I was very concerned. But I think it did have something to do with the hormones because uh, I thought it was the testosterone. Because I, I, I stopped taking that for a few days and I felt a lot better. It didn't really happen. But then it wasn't because then I started noticing it again. But it was always consistent after the estrogen, after the, the, the estradiol pills that I was taking. And I was thinking, well, maybe if, maybe if I try a different way of getting it into my body, maybe if I do the injections again, I won't have any kind of problems because when you inject, it bypasses, you know, your di digestive tract, your liver, all that. It just, it's, it absorbs in, into the body a lot more efficiently. So, you know, it doesn't filter out, your body doesn't, doesn't filter it out with injections like it does with 
consuming it because even though you put it under your tongue and it goes into your bloodstream that way and, and bypasses that, that liver, it is also not, you know, you can't always keep it on your tongue. It doesn't fully dissolve on your tongue. I end up swallowing a lot of it anyway, but yeah, um, I, there were many, many days that I knew it was that because just one a day in particular, I took it in the evening, within a half hour, my, my heartbeat was, I was feeling very, um, ill. Like, just not feeling very good, needing to take a lot of deep breaths, just having this shortness of breath. I would stand up and about to pass out. It was only after the pills. Then I went a whole day without any of the pills, and I felt amazing. I felt better than I did <laughs> any time prior to that. And then when I restarted it, it didn't fully come back. So I don't really know. Maybe it was just a Toxic, toxicity, I don't know, but it, it doesn't make any sense because I'm eating everything that's good for my body, um, exercising, you know, all that should be gotten rid of from my body, all the toxins, because, yeah, we, we live in a very, very toxic world. Everything around us is, is toxic, the water, the air, the foods, but if you're eating, you know, your, your body will filter out a lot of that crap, but... If you're eating more toxins than your body can filter out, especially if you're really young or really old, then it's not good. And you know, and I'm at a good age where my body should be working perfectly fine, no problems. Shouldn't have any kind of problems like that. And you know, I'm eating well. My body should be detoxifying all this stuff that um, you know is in the environment or is in some of the other foods that I eat that could have. Uh, toxic elements in it and heavy metals and whatever but it's like okay well what what is causing this and it's you know this the synthetic things and I'm taking you know these medications so I, I I don't know because now it's not doing it so I don't know what was causing this um, that's not to say that it doesn't still happen on a, a lower scale because it does it does happen a little bit now like and today, after lunch, I felt, I didn't feel really lightheaded. I felt mostly like, boom, 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 in my chest, but not as severe as it has been, which I'll see what the results are of, of this, but I honestly don't feel like they're going to conclude anything. Because, I don't know. But, you know, I was in, my prim in to see my primary care doctor last week, which is why they um, suggested I, I do this for 24 hours. Um, and when I was at the primary care doctor last, last Monday, they, um, did an EKG and my, my heart was pretty much the same as it was last, about last year at this time, except if, except it was a bit, it was slightly irregular, not much, but it was slightly, but that's kind of why he wanted to do this, to, to monitor it for a full 20, 24 hours to see if anything changes. So, yeah, a, f a few days after that, I, I, I felt bad, and then, you know, by the weekend, I felt better. <laughs> so I, I really don't know. You know, maybe stress and anxiety plays a, a part of it. Absolutely, it can, but I didn't, f I didn't feel stressed out. I didn't feel anxious, you know, it's more of like the complete opposite. It's like excitement as opposed to anxiety, just feeling excited. Maybe I'm just overly excited about things and just, you know, I don't know. And then, you know, stress, I didn't feel stressed out. Like I used to overwork myself so much, like, oh my gosh, I got to get this and that done. And now it's like, okay, let me just step back and take it easy. I'm, I'm very, very busy a lot of times. I do a lot, a lot of stuff, but I don't feel, you know, overly stressed. I don't. So I, I, I don't know what's causing that. No idea. So as long as it doesn't come back, we'll see. We will see. So, you know, probably ideally I would go off the, the testosterone completely and then probably lower my estradiol dose to Instead of two pills a day, maybe a pill and a half, or maybe just half a pill spread out. I don't know. I don't know. So, yep. 
Alright. I think I'm gonna end it now. My my hair has been so 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 thick the past few days. And let me tell you this. When I when I, I washed it on I guess it was like fr Friday? Yeah, it was Friday. I wash my hair on Friday. I only wash it like like once a week, maybe every every four days, every six days, sometimes every eight days. Um but yeah, I washed my hair on Friday and I think I forgot to rinse it out. <laughs> and my hair was like so like sticky and gooey afterwards. It was disgusting. And I was expecting it to be, you know, all separated. Like, like sometimes it is. Like, like when I f forget to, to uh, wash it out completely or I don't shampoo it enough, it leaves some separations in my hair. It makes it look kind of oily and greasy. It was the complete opposite. Like, like it's, it's like so thick. It felt amazing. I don't know why. She would think that it wouldn't be, but yeah. So, especially yesterday, it was like, whew. and I recorded two two videos uh, yesterday for the Auto Master Joe channel. So, let's see how thick that hair is. Hang on. <laughs> All right. So I think I'm gonna end it now. I got my. I haven't up. I haven't shown you all of my plants in a while. They're doing all right. Um, this one in the back here, right here. This one's not. Two the two little ones died. They're just in there like dead. I'm sure if you can see these little two two ones right here, they're like dead in there. And the big the big one, I think the big one might be dying. This one, this one seems to be all right. This one's, these right here seem to be kind of dying, but they still seem to be okay. This one is just insane with the growth. My aloe is still doing good. And my avocado, avocado is completely destroyed and dead all the way down to the bottom, all brown. Yeah, it just, once it started growing, it was getting close to the weather being colder. So it sucks. So, yep, I think I'm going to end it now. Okay, so I want you to all to have a wonderful day <laughs> and night. Okay, and um, yes, look, I see you eating food, okay? Now I'm going to end it now, so you all have a good day and night, and I will talk to you all then, okay? Bye-bye.